Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will react to the top 10 South Park songs. I don't have a lot of time, I only have 70 minutes uh, left of recording time, so I'm gonna be quick about this. I believe the only song that I can name on top of my, uh, that is on my mind right now is um, uh, Carl's Mom is a Bitch or something from Bigger, Longer and Good, the South Park movie. And uh, Do It in the Butt by Butters. Of course, I remember that song of all songs. So there you go. Uh, I also believe that Eric Cartman had like a fucking Casa Bonita song or something. Like when he was like being racist to the Jews and shit like that. And to Mexicans. But he loved Casa Bonita or something. I believe that's the song as well. So there's probably a Christmas song in there. So I don't, I don't think I've ever watched this video. So let's let's check it out. Game of Thrones. That's a good call again. Oh my god. Jagging us. That's so weird. Oh yeah, but, uh, Chef. You can lick my salty balls. Other than all black, but I am a salty fuck though. Uh, by the way, I love South Park. Gretcha. I hate Family God. Oh my, to add fuel to the fire, that's fucking much more your commentary. It's chocolate, salty balls. So what do we do now? There's nothing we can do. Just sit here and suck on my ball. Number nine, gay fish. In fact, <laughs> oh yeah, that Kanye West song. Appears to not get the joke is rapper Kanye West. Yeah, of course. Furious when people use the joke on him. If you're a that was pretty funny. Celebrity, be wary of South Park. I am not gay, and I sure as hell ain't no fish. All right? Kanye West becomes the victim. Perfect. The butt of a joke he doesn't understand. Hey man, I'm a genius, all right? I'm the most talented musician in the world. If I was a homosexual or a fish, I would know. Jimmy writes the joke about fish sticks and he is so fucking stupid, man. Claims they co-wrote. It becomes a nationwide hit, but poor lyrical genius Kanye doesn't get it. Explain. <laughs> Why do people think I'm a gay fish? Through a series because of you're a fucking faggot. He eventually accepts the joke as fact. He is such a gay motherfucking fish, man. Cuddling and making out with the fish. The auto tune is a nice touch. <laughs> There's a guy who was stable though, the fucking auto tune. Gay fish. It's probably my favorite guy who was from, really. Like genuinely, I think that Gay Fish was like one of the first songs I ever downloaded. Do whatever you will. It's pretty easy to stop swearing. That's the lesson Mr. Mackey relays to his students in South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. You don't have to spend your life addicted to smack. Homeless on the streets giving head jobs for crack. Follow my plan and very soon you will see. That's very nice to learn to a bunch of eight year olds for sure. Mr. Mackey teaches his third grade students. How to use different words to replace vulgar ones. As is common with South Park, there's but how do you say it then? And satire to be had. Bitch female dog. He's wearing a ton in a song that's meant to reduce cursing. Step Poor hats, yeah. It's not quite as catchy though, but I get it. Like this is literally like uh, foretelling the de uh, the demonetization war on YouTube. Like this is so real. Like South Park predicted it. Instead of The Simpsons. But I'm pretty sure The Simpsons did as well, so there you go. Number seven, montage. Oh, I love montage. Where they're like in the mountains and 
Yeah, you know, this meme was created of that guy. Um, uh, whenever you're doing this, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, so you know that meme. It's a good meme. That Wendy's looking bitch is really weird. <laughs> Thanks, Team Neil, for requesting this. This is awesome. Oh yeah, this was really weird. Mr. Garrison trying to get fired because uh, he has like a gay man in class. Like what the fuck? Attention then by shoving poor little Lemmy Winks, the classroom pet, inside his submissive lover's rectum. Oh, that's so messed up. is waiting for you ahead. Lemmy Winks, or you will soon be dead. What ensues is a hilarious song detailing the poor animal's missing. Yeah, this is kind of like a Lord of the Rings kind of song. Uh, you know, with a rat being in a gay man's ass, it's like fucked up, literally. It's like that one food episode where you shove food in your ass and then it comes out of your mouth. That's so fucking weird. How is this even on YouTube? What the fuck? How is this not age restricted? Finger bang! After dreaming about being in a boy band with his friends and getting filled It's literally a song about fingering, but sure. to make his dream come true and convinces his buddies to form one. I got a finger bang, bang you into my life. Girl, you like to finger bang you. This is like the best boy band parody ever. It's so, like, South Park just demonstrates how easy it is to make a fucking boy band. I'm gonna, like, basically finger you into oblivion. That's what they're saying. And the girls love it, of course. But with the added hilarity and immaturity of it's kind of fucked up that little kids are telling, uh, you know, they want to finger bang you into, um, into the stratosphere. It's kind of fucked up. And here, Carmen, of course, taking the lead. Oh, give me all the attention. That's an awesome Judas Priest song. Of of course, fucking uh, how stands father call again? Um, fuck. I recently watched a video on him. Like what the fuck? Randy, Randy, yeah, Randy Marsh. English. Hilarious. Oh, I was just so called again when uh, Kenny was having like the stroke, you know, cat piss, uh, cat urinating on him. That was this awesome song. I believe it was called Heavy Metal. Although it's like a hard rock blues song, I'm sure. Protect my balls. Also awesome song. With allusions to genitalia and ninjas. Yep. And more self-referential goodness in calling the song itself stupid. Protect the things that are important to you and always love fighting. We got some more yep. to do. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Oh yeah, classic. From the from the South Park movie. Kyle and Kenny 
So it is eligible. ...to watch the hit R-rated movie Asses of Fire, starring their Canadian heroes Terrence and Philip. The boys are bombarded with obscenities and vulgar <clears> language. <throat> Fuck off. <laughs> it's so good to say, man. Yeah. I don't listen to just saying the same thing, but sure. This song serves as one of the driving forces behind South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut's inclusion in the Guinness Book of World Records for most profanity used in an animated film. No, oh, alright. It's the most explicit animated film, I suppose. Well, it's also from the movie. So I think the the Kyle's mom bitch is like number one, I believe. Or maybe the brother song, I don't know. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, it's kind of true though. They're just kind of an extension of America. But why do they look so different from Americans in South Park? That's so weird. Like South Park does not like Canadians for some reason. I love Canada. Yeah, the Casa Bonita song. Or <laughs> Minorities and a water park. <laughs> why, is this song not, why is this song not on air? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, of course, like classic racist Cartman, I love it. I probably got that like little uh, pinch of racism from Cartman, probably. Up there. It's up there for sure. Is that an LGBT cruise ship? What the fuck? Because the letters were all like rainbow. What would Brian Bo Boytano do? Who the fuck is that? I have never heard of this song. Yeah, Jack in it in San Diego. That's a classic. I don't get some of the humor of South Park because Jacking it in San Diego. Are they are South Park saying that San Diego are a bunch of wankers? That's why you're supposed to wank there? I guess that's what they're saying, I'm not sure. Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Yeah, one ep one Christmas episode I said, so there you go. Number one. Yeah, I was like, where's this Carl's Mom's a bitch song? And it's number one for sure. Amazing song. But she is a bitch. It's so popular. <laughs> it's true though, she's a fucking bitch. But maybe that's just because Kyle's mom is such a B word. Bitch. Just say it, but Marge, don't be a bunch of family bushes. When Kyle's mom ruins Christmas, the film version was much more grandiose and vulgar. Spreading the hate to other kids in various countries and different languages. Just don't be a pandering pussy. Like, you think that um, Carl's mom is such a bitch, he's like translating into like 20 different countries. Gotta have respect for Carmen right there. Using the B word 56 times in a span of 71 seconds. Well, How many times? In a span of <laughs> Using the B word 56 times in a span of 71 seconds is pretty impressive. Using the B word 56 times in a span of 71 seconds is pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, that's what the bitch gets for starting a war with Canada. There you go. Why, why, were, why the fuck were you fucking censoring yourself and then you said bitch at the end? Like, why did you say uh, the B word and then you said it anyway? Watch Mojo's logic, what the fuck? I'm never happy with them. Say, say it and they say it and I'm still not happy. Do you 
Oh, no, that's a little beige groove at the ending, amazing. Our list. It has come to be. What's your favorite South Park song? Finger bang bang. Every day. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Piece of shit. I mean, that's literally what he is, though. So you can't you can't fault me for that. Uh, I am glad that I never brought him back because no one wants to look at shit. Although, um, how is it called Hanky? He's pretty funny though, but. Nah. Thumbs up, Wade's calls mom. Uh, mom don't hate her, but I'm still gonna give you a like because mom's a big old fat bitch. Gay fish has always been Kanye's best song in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My favorite sound rock music called Mom's a Bitch for sure. Uh, I kinda hated that you censored yourself. Uh, where is Timmy and the Lords of Underworld? Oh, that song is awesome. Why is she saying? Oh yeah, I fucking love that song. Oh yeah, when he was like jamming with I believe Korn or with like some random rock band, that was fucking awesome. Facts: Robin Williams performed Blame Canada at the Oscars. Amazing. Uh, South Park is easily the best animated adult cartoon ever. <coughs> Wrong. That's The Simpsons, but the South Park is um, is up there for sure. Is that or Archer? Not even close. Archer is awesome. Mm, sorry. Um, I'll take the pledge, no one cares. I don't even know where they said that. Um, yeah, I don't have any time anymore. No. Um, country gone. Me, me, mom, do you like fish sticks? No, me, gay fish. Yeah, there you go. I have no time anymore. Bye, peace, later on. Uh, like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay.